Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. (laughs) (laughs) I don't say anything funny. (laughs) Well, because you weren't there when it happened, sailor. But I was, darling. You sure were, Jenny. Will I ever forget that Mardi Gras with you and Rio? And how about that time in Acapulco spearfishing by torchlight? The fun we had in the snow in the Swiss Alps. You pull sleds too, Jenny? Why don't you go warm yourself a saucer of milk? What's the matter with you, sailor? Jenny's an old crony. Crony? Now there's a word. How do you spell it? C-R-O-N-E? Look, sailor, Jenny and I want to talk about old times. You'd be bored. Nothing would interest you. You know how it is. So why don't you... Well... Why don't you, sailor? All right, I will. Bye, fellas. Both of you. Hi, Jenny. Slate, darling. How slate? I think about you sometimes. You happy? Here, now. With you, looking at you, watching you. Saying slate and knowing you'll answer and not an echo. But the other times, most of the times... No, I haven't been happy, darling. It was a Sunday there when I picked up the papers and saw you in a wedding dress beside a man in striped pants. I don't remember the whole week after that. He's here in Havana. I'm going to leave him, Slate. So many things we could have done. Did you hear me? I'm frightened of him. I'm afraid he might kill me, Slate. He's that kind of a man. I'm going to leave him. Then what, Jenny? I'll come back to you. You want that, don't you? You're Slate Shannon, remember? And I'm Jenny. And they were the old times. I'll come back to you, Slate. You can pack all my things, Paul. Let them run through your fingers. It'll be something to remember me by. Look, Jimmy. Anything you want, any price, I can do things for you no other man can do. Good. Sit on the suitcase for me, will you, darling? You're so strong. I never can close these things. Of course. See, Jenny, just with my hands. Oh, your powerful hands. I could almost regret leaving them. I brought you something, darling, my going away present to you. Don't play with me. Don't... It's a sign, Paul. A sign that says vacant. You can hang it on my door. Jenny! Come back, whatever you need, whatever you want. Beg, darling. Get down on your knees and beg. <laughs> what do you know? He's doing it. Help you with your bag, lady? Good evening, Bart. Kiss me, Bart. Sure, lady. How did it go? <laughs> you should have seen him, Bart. On his knees. Why not? Everybody kneels before he dies. Doesn't everybody? We'll ask Shannon how my husband died when he kills him for me. And Shannon will do that for you, lady? Anything I want. He owes me for the fun times we had together. Hello, Slate. Hi, sailor. This where you've been all this time? Standing out here on the beach, staring at the moon and kicking sand? What do you want? You, mostly. You want me to go away? No. I've got no right to tell you what to do. You had, up until this afternoon. Until Jenny. You in love with her? Once. Why? 
I've been thinking about it, about Ginny. Why? I can't figure it. I don't know if I want to. I want to tell you something, big man. Get her out of the hotel. You crazy? Get her out, Slate. What's the matter with you? Jenny's a guest. She rented a suite. She's got as much right to move into Shannon's place as anybody. As much right as me? You or anybody. I just coined a cliché, friend of mine. She goes or I go. You giving me your notice, Taylor? All right. Kidding, aren't you? So long, Taylor. Do you know what you just did? Yeah, I said so long. You told me to get out of your life. That's the way you heard it. That's the way it was. Just like that. No toast, one to the other. No big speeches, how grand it was. Nothing. Yeah. That was all of it. Goodbye, Slate. Senorita Tuval, the honor you do my decrepit little theatrical agency. I cannot stand it. Here's a hanky. Blow my 10% of your nose. Gracias. Revive yourself. I can do other tricks, too. I sing in the shower. I... You got something there. Uh, but we knock out the shower. Uh, too corny. I see it. I see it. You in a swimsuit. Mm, in a white dress. You got a job for me, Aquila? Off the shoulder? It buttons at the throat. Off the shoulder get you raves from the music critics. Off the dime, Aquila. Is there a job for me? You open tonight at the Club Flamingo. Uh, Slate Shannon will be your call boy? Who's Slate Shannon? <laughs> that is how I like to hear a girl female performer talk. Especially when... Watch it, kid. I got a trick you don't know about. I call it a right cross. <laughs> We will have such a lovely 10% together. Keep the hanky, agent. It's a down payment on what I'll owe you. Thank you. Is the final number included in your cover charge... Here's a song to remember when someone starts crying on your shoulder. When you get to feeling mean and low And your world has lost that golden glow Keep your troubles to yourself Put your worries on the shelf don't sing those sad songs to me When the blues start knocking at your door And you know you can't take any more Please don't call me on the phone I've got problems of my own don't sing those sad songs to me Now you know the type People who gripe Begging for sympathy When they come my way I just stop and say Forget it, kid You won't get any help from me so avoid me when you can't be gay If you meet me, turn and walk away Though I usually am mild I can't stand the problem child So don't sing those sad songs to me Alma, senorita Duval, you were magnifico, splendid, so uh, uh, tip-top. Uh, por favor, go take another bow. For me, the best agent a senorita ever had. Did you see them out there? The customers? Hair is on the floor from the tearing out of heads. Such a reception. I... I'm talking about Slate Shannon and that girl with him. The way they were looking at each other. Oh, a disagreement numero one, you and me. Uh, Mr. Shannon, look at you all the time. In fact, senorita, he has sent back a note. Uh, here. Tear it up. Senorita? Tear it up. 
The note says he will come back to your room dressing a while after you have sung. It says he has been looking for you. Tell him to go kiss a light socket. I don't want to see him. Ay, how like my wife numero two she is. How just like... Where is she, Chico? Uh, in there. Uh, but you cannot see her. One side. To say one side to Aquila is to court jobs in the nose, senor. You will see. Show me. See it. Jobs in the nose. You get my note, sailor? What do you want here? I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake. Ginny and me. Well? Something's missing. Help me out, sailor. I'm trying to tell you something. Get out of here. Well, why don't you just listen to me? You listen. I want you out of here. Sailor. All right. To talk to you, Jenny. Come in, Slate Shannon. You're wearing a look I remember. The one you had when you left me in Rome. You remember it, huh? Pasted in my scrapbook of losses. So I'd know the reason for the nights without sleep. Look, Jenny, I want you to go away. You're making small talk. So I can get my bearings, so I can pick out what's a memory and what's for real. The devout thing of me, huh? I want it to be straight and clean. Shut I up, want it... Slate Shannon. This is the what that's for real. This. And this. I don't look now, Jenny, but someone's peeking over our shoulders. My husband. The husband that would rather have me dead than lose me. Isn't that right, husband mine? Get your things, Jenny. You're coming back to me. You spoiled it, Paul. Like you spoiled everything else you could have had with me. Throw him out, Slate. He brings a chill into my room. Get your things, Jenny. Or do you want me to beat you until you beg to come back? Till you want it? Slate. Slate, he means it. He'll kill me. Relax, Jenny. You heard the lady, Mr. Ward. Right now, she doesn't care for you. You leave her cold. It's you she wanted. I can deal with a man, a man like you. You spoil the natty crease in your flannels, Mr. Ward. I can deal. You don't care about the crease, huh? Maybe I can give you a new one. You took her. You're a good kid. Real. He'll kill you, Slate. He'll kill you. Yeah. Yeah, he could have that. He's an ox. This book ends, Slate. Hit him with it. He'll kill you. He's going for God. I don't. Take it. He'll, he'll shoot you. Yeah. Your husband was good. Real good. Not anymore, Slate. I think you've killed him. Uh, what are you talking about? You've killed him. Stay, Slate. Don't run. I'll tell them it was for me. I'll tell them that... I wish I could be there to hear you, Jenny. I wish a lot of things. Don't run, Slate. Stay with me. Put it in that scrapbook of yours. Now we both won't sleep. <laughs> Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. In Shannon's place is desolation. No lady, sailor, Mr. Slate on the run. Because an old flame come and wink she eye. She husband sleeps and will maybe die. The place is empty, the place is... Watch your language, King. I'm back. Lady sailor. Hi. Miss me? Ah, uh, there is only bitterness when you are gone. Yeah. When I'm here, too. It's pretty bitter what happened to Slate, isn't it? Mr. Slate would not want to kill a man. I do not believe it, Lady Sailor. I do not believe what the papers say. That Paul Ward is lying on a hospital cot, and it's a flip of a peso whether he lives or dies. 
You don't believe that? Please, Lady Sailor. And that the police are looking for Slate. Charge attempted murder. Motive, a husband who wants his wife back. That you don't believe either, huh, King? Nor you, because you came back to Mr. Slate. Yeah, I came back. And you will help him? Long enough to kiss the boy goodbye and give him back to Ginny. Where do you think he's hiding, King? This I do not know. But uh, perhaps Mrs. Jenny Ward... Yeah. Slate likes to share secrets with her. Memories, dying husbands. She's still here at the hotel? No, she at 56 Paseo Batista. I overheard when I carry she bags to the cab. Well, you come too, King. I'll need you to lace my gloves. <laughs> Bianco? Slade? Is that you, Slade? Yeah. I'll throw you a line. I'm going to tie up my boat here. Got it? I got it. All secure, Slade. How you been, Bianco? Me? Great. What are you doing here, kid? This key's off the beaten path. You think I'm going shrimp fishing or something? No. You mind if I stay at your shack for a while? I guess. Let's go. Just throw me a couple of palm fronds in the corner. I need sleep. Yes, you do. You need a lot of things, kid. Come on in. I turn off the radio, Shelley. No, leave it on. Uh-uh. Why waste the battery? I can tell you by heart what it's going to say. That's how you amuse yourself? You memorize commercials? This one's got a price of ten grand. Offered by Mrs. Ginny Ward for the capture dead or alive of a slate shaman. Radio's been spilling like that all day, Slate. You're a fugitive, huh? You heard it? Ten thousand dollars. My, my. Dead or alive, too, the man said. How do you figure it, Bianco? First she said... Ah, what difference does it make? Uh, you said he was sleepy. Lie down. Go ahead. Use my cot. Get some sleep, kid. I wake you. Come on. Ah, uh, nothing doing. You might take a fancy to that ten grand. Ah, oh, I slept. How you talk... I sleep outside, Slate. Uh Uh-uh. Get out the cards, Bianco. This is going to be an all-night fan-tan session. Bart. Come here, Bart. Something on your mind, Ginny? Come here and tell me what a clever girl am I. You're a clever girl, Ginny. Offering that 10,000 reward was a stroke of pure clever. And with the cops, you were a love, too. How vivid it was how Shannon broke into your room. You in your husband's arms. And Shannon strikes him a foul blow. It made you cry, didn't it, Jimmy? Tears, chasing tears. <laughs> Be a lamb, Bart. See who it is. Lamb. I'll remember you once called me that. Now, look, it's a dream. Where's Jenny Ward? Ask her yourself, dream. I bet I know what you want, darling. Where is he? Where's Slate? He's not here, darling. You can frisk me. He needs help. He almost killed for you. I'm taking bets that he made it. The killing, I mean. Paul doesn't die today. It'll be tomorrow. One lovely day. Look, you. Don't try violence, darling. Bart here doesn't like me with scratch marks on my face. It makes him brutal. Slade was in love with you. He would have told you where he was going. I tried, darling. I asked where. But his mouth tightened up on me. You know, the cute way it does. We've got to help him. Find him. I'm doing all I can. I offer $10,000 for him, dead or alive. What? 10000 You wanted him to kill your husband. You have naughty thoughts, child. Escort the naughty girl out, Bart. The door you came through, Mr. Vall, it'll be the same one on the way out. When you die, Jenny, let me know. I want to go dancing. Well said, Dream. Out, Dream. She told you where our Mr. Slade is, Lady Sailor? No, but while I was walking down that dark hall, something came to me, King. Remember how when Slate wants to check the world, he goes to a fisherman named Bianco? On Frenchman's Key? Uh-huh. Let's rent a boat, King. I think that will be difficult. 
That plain clothes policeman hiding under a propeller beanie across the street might not let us. Run, King. That way. I'll run the other. Let's make it lively for Beanie Boy. You want a small coffee, Slate? Deal the cards. Just ask, that's all. Me, I like mine hot. Deal them. We've been doing this for six hours now. Let's change the game at least. I got Fantan up to my nose. Fantan, deal. Yeah, I heard the boat too, Bianco. Someone's coming down a pier, Slate. Cops? No, just one cop wouldn't come. That'd be a mob. And don't try it, Bianco. What are you talking about? You've been eyeing that table drawer ever since I walked into this shack. You make a move for a gun, I'll beat your brains in. <laughs> you raving like a loony, Slate. Go ahead, answer it. Is Slate Shannon? Oh, Slate, are you all right? All this time I've been saying to myself, if Sailor were here, we'd figure out something together. My, my. Shack of mine never had a woman before. My pleasure, lady. What happened, Slate? Why did you do it? He pulled a gun on me. Jenny shoved a bookend in my hand. Wait a minute. He didn't have a gun, Slate. Sure he did. He was going for it when I hit him. Did you see it? No, no, I didn't. The papers say unprovoked attack. Poor Ward was unarmed. Ward said so himself. Ward said so? I thought I killed him. No, he's still alive. He regained consciousness for a few minutes, but only for a few. They don't know whether he's going to live or die. Maybe you ought to give yourself up. Hey, wait a minute. Bianco told me he heard over the radio that Paul Ward was dead, didn't you, Be? You shouldn't have turned your back on me, Slate. The gun happened to my hand while you did. So now... This will be real cool. Now let's go, sailor. Let's wrap this thing up. You wait out here, sailor. Let me go in with you. I want to watch. Yeah, yeah, I guess you do. Okay, come on in, sailor. Yes? Oh, I brought you something, Jenny. Let's go inside, Jenny. Yeah, this is home here. Bart? Bart? What's the matter? What? Oh, you'd be the boy the police are looking for. You'd be Slate Shannon. I'd be a corpse if you had your way. Ah, take it easy. Sailor told me about you, Buster. You're a Bart, a friend of Jenny's. I've been wanting to meet you. Come here. You want to play, huh? All right. You'll be messed up for the cops. You'll tell them all about it. Yeah. About you. About Jimmy. About Paul. Slate, take this. Kill him. Uh Uh-huh. He's got to talk to the cops, remember? There's your boy, Jenny. You should have killed him. Then it would have been... Slate, don't look at me like that. How am I looking at you? With hate. This is Jenny. The whole thing was a mistake. They called me from the hospital. Paul's going to live. I'll go back to him. He won't press charges. So they be told exactly what happened. How you and that lying on the floor planned it all. Police Slate, department? See. Give me Let Inspector me LaSalle. Me. Don't let her call the police. Make her stop. LaSalle, old boy. Make her stop. Guess what I've got Slate. for you. An old dead flame. I'm sorry, Jenny. I really am. It's going to be a lousy memory. you singing? You've heard it before. It's a song I had to learn when I was away from you. Oh. Oh, that one. That one. When the blues start knocking at your door And you know you can't take any more Please don't call me on the phone I've got problems of my own 
Don't sing those sad songs to me. Come here. Why'd you do that for? Well, I've never been kissed in the key of D flat before. Fine, isn't it? Stick with me, kid. You're liable to find the lost chord. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. Bold Venture.